It's DJ Holiday and Ebony, a.k.a. the Avery's. Stay tuned. Dinner with the Avery's, episode nine, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. How y'all feeling out there, man? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, I know we took a little uh, week hiatus. We, we needed me time. That's what we yeah, need. Yeah. We, so, everybody deserves we a needed break a little me time. We needed a little me time. We just, uh, I had some business stuff to handle in uh, L.A., you know. Definitely, you know, anytime we go anywhere, we're going to make a trip out of it. So we definitely, me and wifey, went out to Los Angeles, California, yes. and uh, had a great time. I had a booking out there at a club, uh, Lore or something like that. Lore. Uh-huh. Had a great time. Shut it down like always. And, um, you know, of course, we went, did a little shopping and uh, went to Universal Studios as well. Cause we, you know, that's my... We're I'm big a, kids. I'm a big kid. Well, both of us, actually. We're, big, we're huge kids, yeah. and we, we just try to... We really use our kids to do a lot of things we really want to do. Nah, I, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I mean, regardless. I know, but Universal or Six Flags or something like that, I love places like that. So, yeah, so just a note, if you ever going to Universal Studios you've never been, please get the damn VIP Fast Pass. Don't oh, play yes, yourself. Yes. We had a ball. We literally did that park in like two hours and a half. We rode everything. Rode everything. They only got like six total good, really good rides. Right. And it was like lines out there like. Two, 180 two, minutes. 180 minutes. Yeah, like who will wait in like, line who the for a fuck is gonna wait 180 minutes to get to on get on a, a two second ride that lasts <laughs> for 30 seconds? No, and not even 30 seconds. Them rides was quick. And we was like passing people and then getting in, riding the ride and come out. Come out and they, and they still like five there. steps up yeah. where they was at when we walked up. Yeah, it's all it's bad. Tiresome, but uh, definitely not. Nah, I had a great time. I got to see some family. Shout out to Cheyenne and X and, and up, Callie. Y'all, yeah. thank y'all for coming out and yeah. hanging with me while I was there. And then we ran that tab up over there, Mister oh Child. God, how do you have a thousand dollar bill at a restaurant? A thousand dollars? It was more than that. I'm not talking about with the gratuity, and I'm not talking a thousand dollars. Like, yeah. how do you? Do, how do you? How much did we eat to to even? That's crazy. Mister Child's is good, it's but that worth is every retarded. Dollar. Every that's damn retarded. dollar. That's retarded. If you ever get to eat there, <laughs> go with some people who go and help pay the tab. Shit. That's retarded. <laughs> but definitely <laughs> not. Nah. Um, but no, nah, man, had a great time, though. So uh, sorry we missed a week. But, you know, like I said, we need a little me time. And uh, definitely, of course, you know, when we leave, we definitely miss the kids. And, of course. Uh, you know, Easter Man, and, babe. Go. We was almost, I thought we was almost um, out of here. Oh, yeah. I thought it nigga, was our so last look, day on this earth. Yeah. No, so seriously. We on the plane. <laughs> And you know I'm DJ Holiday, so I'm not trying to go out on a motherfucking Sunday. I'm on knocked a plane. out sleep first off. Yeah. Knocked out sleep. I get woke up. It feel like we in a uh, what's <laughs> what shakes um uh, earthquake. Yeah. I mean we are just like yeah, shaking. Yeah. I see. I look up. I see people standing up and like falling in the aisles and stuff. And I just grabbed his hand and I was just holding his hand. I'm like looking out the window, holding his hand, really trying not to cry. But I'm like praying to God. I'm thinking, do I need to get my phone and write a note to my mama and maybe she'll find it on my body or something? But y'all, look, I really thought that was gonna be our last day on earth. See, and 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 then for me, I, all that was going on. I see the look on her face. I know she worried. <laughs> And then even this white lady who was sitting next to me who hasn't spoken to me one time, this bitch was drunk. She grabbed my arm. So, so I got to show the, like, the little tough face. So I'm like, fuck, man, I ain't, trying to die. I ain't trying to die today. I ain't trying to go out like this. I was but like, man, I really kids. was like, yo, we're finna die. Yeah, no, I really, like, I thought we was gone. I look out, out the window and all I see is crap. Uh, clouds. It's like I don't see nothing. I don't even see the the um ground. I don't see nothing but white clouds. My nigga, clouds. the plane was and shaking so we were shaking crazy. bad, and it was a, it was for minutes. And then all the do all the um pilot he gonna get on there and just say uh we are experiencing some unnormal uh unnormal um, uh turbulence and some rough air right Please, now. Please like, uh, yeah, put just your seatbelt on, put sit your, your ass down. On. Like really, but that's we, all you gonna you say? Know, we shaking for ten minutes straight, and you talking about some you know it's bad when they, they were serving drinks and shit and them people left yeah like, they just rode that shit up i think everybody went in back in their little pod their little pods i just shit. knew them face masks was about to fall out the the sky and we and you know what that made me think about like do y'all really ever pay attention to them people when they telling y'all how to like put your seatbelt on and the flotation devices and all that stuff like most people I'm don't to really pay what attention movie I'm about to, to watch. it <laughs> see fuck yeah about. he don't be paying or no, for real, you like, have your music on or you sleeping or something like that but you feel like you done flown you done flew so much that you know what to do if it's an emergency but honestly do you really 
Like I, I don't know, but I feel like <laughs> my manly instinct would kick in, and I would probably boss up and and. <laughs> Uh, shit, I ain't going. I mean, nigga, you watch the Titanic. You'd be like, nigga, I wouldn't die. You know, <laughs> or, but yeah, plane going I down. I was out of here. Though. I don't know, bro. I thought that was it, babe. I just knew we was going to go down holding hands. Like, I, it's a death do us part for real. Man, that shit was fucked up. <laughs> I was scared, but I, I just had to be tough, man. But nah, we definitely, uh, yeah, that's what happened this weekend. <laughs> shit. But I was so happy to see my badass kids. Man. I know, man. I, like, whew, mm. just imagine. That was almost our last time seeing it. No, almost shit. It didn't go down. I mean, it didn't happen, but it, it was, felt like it in my awful. heart. I thought I was gone. Yeah, yeah, if, I was if, a, plane was ever, if like, a plane was ever to go down, <laughs> that's how I was supposed to feel. We, I really thought that shit was. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm gripping the seat with one hand, holding his hand with the other hand, and looking out the window and praying and thinking, like, I'm about to die. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was some scary stuff. But anyway. Oh, all right. Let's get into these topics, boo boo. Real people, real issues, real relationships. It's time for the Avery's. Have you heard, 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 heard? Like I always say, you have to be under a rock if you didn't hear about this. Oh, I got so many opinions and things. You I know what say, I'm about to say? I hope it's Kanye. Of, co- of course I'm yeah. talking about Kanye. What West. part, though? Shit. I don't know. Just anything this you got, say This nigga got a five-point like, part of fucking up this month. He has just been on a roll these last couple of days. Which like, one you want to touch on first? Because um, I will give you my opinion on all of them. Okay. Uh, what about his interview on TMZ? Slavery was He uh, says slavery was a choice. Yeah, that was some bullshit. A choice. But that just lets you know, if you fuck around with the right people, man, they will definitely change your mind concept on everything that you ever came up on and what you're supposed to, you know, uh, know and, and and be proud about or, you know, fight for. That's some bullshit. You yeah. Know, right. I don't give a fuck. That's a disrespectful thing to pretty much all our ancestors, everybody who's ever fought, Martin Luther King, Michael Max, because, first of all, slavery wasn't no fucking choice. Exactly. That shit was forced on us. Like, yeah. We was enslaved. <laughs> That's what slavery is, enslaved. We, we was put in that position. We was minding our goddamn business. They brought us over here, and they and they put us, in, uh, put us to work and shit like that. And the fucked up part about it is I... You know what? Just for a second, I tried to put my shoe on another foot. Think what Kanye was thinking, because he tried to clean it up after the fact. Man. But I know what he was saying. He was saying it like. What was he saying? Like I said, if I was a slave, I probably would have died because I would have fought. I'm not going to be and one of the niggas. And that would have been your I'm choice not, to die. Yeah, I'm not going to work. So I'm not, not going to work slave. on the plantation until I'm fucking 60 years old. I'm not doing that because you got to think about it. You have y'all, y'all watch the movies, and I, every time I watch a slavery movie, I fucking like get cr- yeah, I we cry. Get, we get or and I we tear get up. Pissed. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, I'm like, I got a real family. I got a wife I had two beautiful kids and just imagine you having to watch me have sex with your master or knowing your daughter may get raped by your master or something like that like that stuff right there just really and that's the the male instinct in me because i'm a hard type of dude like i'm not letting no type of shit like that happen i'm taking a bullet for anybody i fuck with for real right that situation that's what that's what pissed me off the most about it and you know just even going back to the point of what he said like he's saying maybe like it was a choice like oh fight 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 it, it's not it's not a, yeah, but that but wasn't it we though. couldn't do that like that, that i mean so. i just i feel like he he needs to be around more black people honestly he need um, to be around more people that that that, that, that um like that motherfucker from tmz who told his ass yeah off. more people that that aren't just gonna let him just talk crazy like this like he and then this is something else i thought about you know how um, I think Snoop posted this where he said your wife has a lot to do with like how far you go in your career and things like that. And I feel like that's kind of true. I feel like if he had a strong, I'm not going to even say black woman, but if he had a strong woman next to his side that it had a, a real opinion, she would be telling him, look, you tripping. Like this is, you shouldn't be saying this crazy stuff or doing this crazy stuff. I mean, for publicity or not, it's not good. Oh, oh, like when, when he got good. when he got home that night, she, I mean, whoever she, if it was Beyonce, I'm assuming or something like, she, they would have told his ass, right, like, straight up, like exactly. nigga, you're tripping. Bro. But Kim probably right there rubbing his back or his head, like, like you babe, did good, I get baby. What you're it's, saying. Like it's okay. You know? Slavery was a choice. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, my god. Yeah. Oh, you like I, I understand. You're just opinionated, you're baby. Maybe yeah. Baby, you like, overdid she's agreeing it. With everything he's saying, that's what I feel like she's doing. But if he had a strong woman next to him she would be telling him look shut up chill out that's not what you're supposed Nigga, to be doing bring your dumb ass thinking. home please right. like why are you at tmz Get over there with out. harvey them? bring your ass back <laughs> <laughs> for real like <laughs> then he said he had liposuction to lose weight because he didn't want people talking about him like they was talking about rob he said he was addicted to opioids 
What's that? I'm assuming that's like a drug, but like a pain drug that he had when he was when he got liposuction. He said he, took, he, he said in the Charlemagne interview that he was addicted to well, he was taking pills that calmed him down, mm. or made made him feel more calm and shit. I don't even know what the fuck that feels like, but I don't know. But um, I just I don't know. And then it's a lot of celebrities coming forth, like Chris Brown killed his Chris ass Brown, today. Snoop, like um, Chris Fifty Brown Cent. Everybody, him. they are truly upset with what he's saying, and they they calling him out on it. Like yeah, this but, is just it's crazy. But, and then what you think about the song he came out with? Like, you know, everybody was waiting on a song for him. Nigga, then he I, came I, out with the song Poopity Scoop Poop Doop, all that crap. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> But see, I think, I think at this point, man, like, I get it. You know, gimmicks always come with these motherfuckers selling their records now. But, uh, you know, at this point now, we really feel like so fucked up about Kanye West. We don't even care. That song ain't trending on iTunes. Ain't nobody giving a fuck about that shit. Ain't nobody giving a fuck about that shit. So... You know, that's some bullshit. He's dumb. It could be all type of stuff. Mother's Day is coming up. He might miss yeah, his mom. Yeah, he could be emotional know? about and his I, mom. In the interview. And uh, I understand that, you know? Yeah, in the interview, um, Charlemagne said some shit like, do you think your mom would approve of uh, Trump's acts and shit like that? And he didn't say shit. Right. He just paused. He probably knew that his mom, like if his mom was alive, his mom would probably be the one that he needs to be telling him, shut hey, leave up. Leave that bitch alone. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not kicking <laughs> it with that family. Right. And that's, you know, it could be, I never really thought about that, but that could be true. Around, See, I think all this stuff is overshadowing the music. This music better be fucking amazing. But he has lost millions, like, on, um, I don't know if it's Twitter or Instagram, but he has lost millions of followers. Care. That nigga's building a billion dollar empire right now. I know, now. but this is a bad move for him. And I mean, I know people are saying they mad now, but then the next pair of Yeezys come out, they gonna have them. This you know, it's affect like, the shoes. I don't think at all. But that's what I'm saying, like, <laughs> <laughs> like Dylan. Dylan gonna get the next pair of Yeezys, nigga, the first thing smoking. <laughs> that nigga Dylan will pitch a tent, nigga, the day them shits come but out. But I'm just what I'm saying, like, if y'all gonna disagree with him, then you need to do all, like, don't get his shoes. Don't do none of that stuff. I'm still, like, I'm still getting the shoes. See? That's what I'm saying. But I don't give a fuck about him <laughs> as a person. He just happened to make a dope-ass shoe. Like, cool. I mean, honestly, I'm going to still wear my Yeezys that I have, but I disagree still. I mean, yeah. but I'm not. I won't get any more if he still keep talking stupid like Man, this. Man, the fact that this nigga acting a fucking plum-ass fool does not mean my feet can't be comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I hate you Moving sometimes. on. <laughs> Okay, so you know Tiana Taylor and Iman, they have a um a show on VH1, and um some rumors were going around that they were separating. I haven't heard this one. So yeah, there was rumors that they were um they had broke up. Um, yeah. but she quickly shut down those rumors. She posted um a video on her Instagram story, and pretty much she calls herself Petunia, and she pretty much posted a video of like her jumping in his arms and dancing in his arms and stuff. That was pretty much confirmation that. We're not splitting. We haven't broken up, and we're not. We're not going to. Oh. So, I have a question. You know, they say when you get when you get on TV, you get on a reality show, then it's like a rumor. I mean, not a rumor. There's like a curse, like a reality TV curse. Yeah, we died that curse. And you break up afterwards, or you have problems in the relationship afterwards. And I know we turned down a huge reality show um, yeah, because. We did. They were really trying to focus on drama, and which we didn't need. But do you feel like that curse is true? Like, will you? Absolutely. You, you think so? I mean, their show's not based on that drama shit. See, they get con- they the show is just about them, so they really really yeah, get that, control th- of what's shown and what happens and, and stuff like that. And that's the like only that. way I would do a reality show, right? If you. it was our own show, but um, you know, or if you just wanted to jump off the bridge and do some shit, and I'm just doing guest appearances, but um. Yeah, that that shit is for the birds, man. You know that those people are they don't think about the well being of a family, you know, right? What's All they think about is ratings, and, of course. But you and know what you sign stuff like that and the that money shit. that they're getting. Yeah, but all money ain't good money, and that's why we declined certain reality shows. We definitely because, did. I mean, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So we definitely wasn't broken, did. and don't definitely try to break did. us up. But anyway, do you think social media like can um break up relationships? Um. I mean, for weak-minded people, yeah. Um, you know, I think you know, in a relationship, um, you know, internet ain't real. So, if you let somebody dictate, uh, you know, how you feel about somebody else that you with every day in real life, you know, 
letting somebody comment on your relationship and shit like that. If you're weak-minded, yeah, that, that shit definitely will tear your relationship down. But I'm not trying to be with nobody who even move like that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But where do these rumors even like where do they even come from? Like how do they even matter. get started? Like somebody could just come on Twitter and just say, Hey, such and such and such and such and then it's all over the world, all over the um some freakazoid, social media on T M Z on every freakazoid dork motherfucker <laughs> that just sit on a computer, my nigga. Like, you know, or some jealous ass bitch who probably won't you mind uh, Right. They you know, won't they're rela- some, looking some, at their relationship yeah, like I'm about like, to mess this up. It's always people, hey, y'all know that man, success bring all that shit. So speaking of rumors, there was a rumor that um Black China <laughs> was pregnant again. By her 18-year-old boyfriend. Um, what's his name? Almighty YBN, Almighty J. Mm-hmm. I have no clue who this little boy is, That's what dope. he's popular for, what he's known for. Got what is he? Who songs. is he? Like, what? Dope little songs. He's just popping, you know, in the little underground world. You know, you don't fuck with nobody until they on the radio. But they were saying that she was pregnant. Like, well, that little nigga is 19. He's supposed to be shooting the club no, up. No, 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 no. What is he supposed to be doing? I, come on now. She I'm can't, 19 she, years old, and I got a, a, she can't I got have a, a nice little sh- following on Instagram. I'm doing little good shows. I think I'm fucking black China raw, too. But she she told TMZ that she's not pregnant. Um, sources connected to China said that she does not want any more kids in the future. And she don't need oh, no more wait. goddamn kids. Sources connected to China said that she does want more kids in the future, and she isn't ruling anything out with the little boy. I'm sorry to keep calling him a little boy. Almighty J. Mm. Look, <laughs> I mean, that's what he is, though. He is a little boy. Like, young little he ain't rapper. even hit puberty le- yet, for real, like mm-hmm. that. Like, yeah, hit money ass. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, that's true, <laughs> but... um, Okay, if you were talking to a girl, and she had three different baby daddies, even if they were just three regular dudes or three in the industry, is that a deal breaker? Fucking right. Is it? Okay, what about two baby daddies, two different baby daddies? Is that a deal breaker? No baby daddies. No? One baby daddy? No baby daddies. Are you serious? Nigga, you didn't have no kids when I fucked with you. I know that, but, but I you told wouldn't you talk that. to a girl that had no. multiple baby daddies? I would fuck a girl who has multiple baby daddies. But you daddies. wouldn't marry her or take her serious? Fuck no. Really? No. I'm not That's mar- you, though, because I know a lot of men that I will. told you that. A lot said, of men I'm will shallow. marry I said, don't don't make. Kids. I don't want to sound like no fucking dickhead, but... I would never marry a girl or be a serious relationship with a girl serious. who has kids. I'm sorry. I just want to experience that with somebody who's never had kids before. And I urge all of y'all to wow. do that because it's just better that way. You know, it's, I mean, the first time, like I said, I like riding roller coasters with somebody who ain't never rode the roller coaster. I ain't never rode before. But if you rode it, then I don't want to ride it with you. <laughs> <laughs> or, you motherfucking, you know, <laughs> shit like that. You seen a movie I ain't seen yet. I don't want you to go with me to see the movie because you're going to be like, <gasps> I know it's about you to happen. You already know it's about to happen. No, that's, I mean, that's true. Uh, but yeah. I guess, I mean, I could talk to a guy with. I know y'all would. You know why? Because. Not to, well, I ain't well look, that. I would prefer you to have no kids. That's why I was like, God truly blessed me when I found you because you had no kids. I don't Nigga, know, I don't I don't know I about was, the abortions and stuff. Had you, you had kids, for, you would have <laughs> never got this dick. Uh, never. I had it. Wait a minute. First I mean, You ain't had no kids. Wait, first off. Yeah. Before, talk. what do you mean, the first time, too, that we talked? Or, no, no. Oh, you, you talking about kids? this new? Okay. I, I would have hit it one time. And if it was good, I would have been like, probably dragged you along for a couple more months. But Dang, then, drag me along. Kids, no wow. deal breaker. Sorry. That's, that's not, just that's me. That's so shallow. I, I said I'm shallow. You can't help what happens. Even if they're like teenagers now. Fuck no. It still doesn't matter? No, nigga. I don't wow. want no kids. Wow. None. I want to build a family, and that's what I'm doing now. You have no kids. I'm, I got your first kid. Right. And I was thankful for that, too. Like, we there got to go. experience parenthood and all that stuff together for a first there time. Is. But um, anyway, back to Black China. Could you see her having a baby by him? That little boy? She, she's a whore, so I can see her oh. having babies <laughs> baby, with anybody. don't she's call got, her What that. you mean? She got two kids with two rich niggas. So what? Maybe she, she just got good coochie and they slipped up. I mean, obviously. That don't make probably. her a whore. What if it happened on the first time? Nigga, Why does that make her a come whore? On, y'all. Why? You follow the pattern and what the <laughs> fuck going on. Y'all know what this girl is. The fuck? If that girl did a packed out show 
a compound tomorrow. What the fuck is her talent? What's she going for? She's to stand her. there. Wait a minute. I got booked. Nigga, you was on and TV. I had no and you talent. You sold your story. She was on TV. You didn't fuck your way on TV. I Ebony. know, but she was on TV, so that was that's she what was they're booking TV her for. She was on TV after she fucked a whole bunch of niggas and got a name, dude. Like she has had about? her. She does have a track record. She even got future name tattooed on I her. I respect. Hand. Like, I respect what she. That do. was gonna Salute. be a baby daddy too. Salute the hustle, my nigga. <laughs> the, every girl out there who wants to follow Black China, do it the way. So she So do you did. think she's setting a good example for for young girls that's looking up to her? Because there's people that look up to Listen, her. If you're a parent and you let your fucking daughter follow Black China, you're a fucking failure as a parent. Uh, baby! Okay? Like, stop it, What is it? Put this cup down. No, I don't know this, what's in this what cup. What is wrong with y'all? Are y'all stupid or something? <laughs> like, I would fucking cuss your ass out if, if Ryan came to me talking about I want to be like Black China when I grow up Mm-mm. or get older. Now, I, that, I, I'm not That's that. what I'm but saying. you talking about you let them follow Black China and do all that. As, like, a, as a role model, like, I want to do what she do. I'm yeah. going to fucking kill your ass. <laughs> Like, Dang. Stop, Y'all got this on? Is this on? Y'all got that? Okay. He's saying he's going to kill me. <laughs> what was that look? Y'all are tripping, bro. But no, I wouldn't. Now, that I would not go for. But I'm just saying, like, there are some girls, because she's been in the public eye so much, that look up to her. That's what's wrong with this society today. Y'all follow the wrong motherfuckers. Go be like Michelle Obama or some shit. She lit. I mean, I agree. Look, I yeah, would love I for my baby to be like, Go Mama, be like I want to be them, the president. Mama was the first black lady who fucking went on the moon or some yeah. shit. Astronaut or some shit. A girl named Jenny Mai. I don't know if you know who she is, but she's on The Real. So I know you've seen me watching The Real. You've seen the Asian girl that's on Jenny The Real. Jenny Mai. I was about to say she's yeah, the she's Asian, Asian girl that's on The Real. Okay, so you, I don't know if you know this, but she got a divorce. Um, She was with her husband for 10 years, and they just recently got a divorce. And the reason why they got a divorce is because he wanted kids and she didn't want kids. So that's why they got a divorce. Mm. So they've been apart for six months now, right? Mm -hmm. Her ex-husband has a new girlfriend and she's four months pregnant. Lit. He got what he wanted. Four months (laughs) pregnant, though. They've only been divorced for six months. Oh, yeah. So that means that either he was cheating or he just was really serious about wanting kids and he went ahead and, and nutted in her as soon as he got one chance to have sex with her. Like, <laughs> how would that how would that make you feel? Like, if we, we broke up or something because I say I want kids, like, just say, like, I say I want another baby right now and you don't. We break up and I get with somebody six months after you and then I announce I'm four months pregnant. Would you think that I was already talking to that person? Would you be mad? Like, how would you feel about it? Would you even care? Would it make you feel some type of way? Mm. <laughs> Think about that for a second. Um, yeah, I probably would be mad because you know. But you said you didn't want more kids. I don't want no more kids. So if I want more kids and I choose to leave you and go with somebody else that wants more kids, how could you be mad about that? I can't be mad about that. You're right. So let me rewind what I'm about to say <laughs> and say that I probably would be upset the fact that you um, wouldn't want to compromise with me. But if you want more kids, I'm gonna have to probably give you one but um <laughs> i don't on, on that part yeah on that part with him with, with him i mean i've seen her she looks boring to me dang i mean she's cool no <laughs> you i are just like she do look boring to me though today. She, she looks boring to me though how Definitely. does she look boring she just because y'all you uh, y'all watch the real like the um the the big chick she's funny as hell i like her and i like the twin uh, mm-hmm. From sister to sister, mm-hmm. and I like uh, the the Adrian, uh, I like Puerto Adrian from Seven O Two. Was it? Yeah, I don't know if it was Seven O Two. Cheetah Girls. Cheetah Girls. There you go. I'm <laughs> sorry. Three. Oh, she was in both groups. Yeah, there you go. See, I like her. I like those. But you know, they out and about and shit like that. And you know, she's out and about too. You just don't watch what she's. Well, I just on. don't watch what she's on. Okay, she does but, fashion stuff. But you know. You got to give your man what he wants. Uh, <laughs> you know, definitely if y'all invested in each other in a relationship, can't be selfish like that. I'm so sure you she, think you sh- she should have made the compromise? Of course. I think, she, I, think, well, I think she's putting her career first probably, you know. Yeah, Something maybe. like that. Uh, but, yeah, sometimes you got to just compromise with the situation. So she she has no right to be mad, though. I mean, but he posted because on nine times media. out of ten, she don't want to have kids. And, I mean, they probably weren't having sex that much. And then No, you know, maybe she was just still on No, nah, they probably control. wasn't having sex that much. She was on birth control. And they probably weren't having sex that much. <laughs> she was on birth control. <laughs> they probably wasn't having sex that much. But he's, like, on social media and, like, he's so happy and just so excited. Yeah, because he found a motherfucker that wanted to turn up and have kids. He having a baby girl and, and stuff. Get, and it's listen, like, ladies and gentlemen. That's in her face. Like, that's a give, slap in her face. Give your man what he wants. Uh, 
And, you know, if your wife wants something as well, you know, compromise, definitely. Ooh. Ooh. All right, the food is here. Hey. Yeah. Awesome, 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 awesome. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and today we in, have. In today's news. What we got, brother? <laughs> So, first of all, we got romaine lettuce, so we're going to talk about so that. So, do we have romaine lettuce? No, it's well, not going to be sick it, next week. No, because it was it was, it was was sourced properly. Okay. That's what they all say. Right, it has okay. to be sourced I properly. I texted him and I said, my nigga, do not bring no romaine <laughs> right. lettuce. No, if you knew where it came from. niggas is dying. From, if you knew where it came from, then it's okay. As long as it didn't come from a certain place. Arizona. Then it's okay. Okay. Yeah. See, okay, he did so his research. what about the people who've been dying in Atlanta, though? I mean, they ain't I, nobody died really, but no, they haven't they died. They just got sick, and that's because they got the romaine from Arizona. Okay, well there it is. That's what it is. The fuck going on in, uh, in Arizona, bro? Man, <laughs> stay away from that mug. Good. That's all. So I what we got say. today, bro? We got teriyaki salmon, um, and we got some uh, grilled chicken over there. I usually use everything I do. I use fresh vegetables. We got fresh zucchini, some of your squash. Mm. Baby carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, oranges. Mm. Holiday got the uh, so the sweet Vidalia vinaigrette. Wifey got the the Italiano. Italian, Italian is Italian. Italiano. It's not, I love it's, it. Yeah, it's not nothing big. It's just a ton. But that sweet Vidalia, that's that. That's the move right there. You better take. You need to take some of that salmon though. Uh uh-uh, uh. I don't eat. She don't eat. She don't eat salmon. seafood. Mm-mm. Are no you allergic salmon? to it? I'm not allergic. I just don't like it. But can, she, you, can you do me a favor? Oh my god. Come on now. She's not you brought me all the way down here now. Come on now. Oh my god. She's not gonna eat Can it, you, bro. <laughs> She's not gonna you eat it. Take your fork, sir, and feed your wife. <laughs> Could you see, do that look, for you me? see. Wait, why does the piece so big? Give me it a ain't that big. Give me a baby it piece. Big. It's baby piss. It's baby, baby piss. piss. <laughs> <laughs> R. Kelly. <laughs> Babe, Go let ahead. me just break it, please. Can I just break it? You just even... my... I'll taste it. Just okay. let me break it in a tiny. Give it a little piece. Give it a little piece. Here she go. No, now she gonna want some of your shit. Watch, watch and see. That's really good. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, this shit fire, but you can't get in the, ooh, oh, oh, Brandino. Oh, you did that. Wait a minute. Hold on. Salmon is actually good. <laughs> Hold on. No, don't do that. Wait. Hold on. No. Salmon tastes like chicken. Hallelujah. Shut no, 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 no. Wait, let me taste it. Oh, okay. I don't. Wait a minute. Okay. She got to go one more time, y'all, just to make sure, because she thought it was, here you go. Mm-hmm. You just turned her? She, well. She likes salmon now? I like it. I turned your wife out. <laughs> <laughs> He broke my seafood virginity. Look. Nigga, I ain't keep, I like I, it. I, I done gave her my life, and she won't even do that for me. I freaking, you did it. You did it. I, I told you to feed her. You did it, and she did it. How'd you, how'd you, how'd Look, you? I'm in here tripping right now. Okay, like, but, I just can't even. So let me explain I this. I think it's the salad dressing. First of all, I'm no, like you. I didn't even have I don't like dressing. salmon. I don't like salmon. Okay, I'm just like you. Okay. I made it so that oh, I can good. eat it. So I Love knew salmon. you was going to like it because and I don't like it either. it's not like a fishy aftertaste. Like exactly. I, that's what I don't like when I can taste it. That's really good. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate oh, you. Wow. Mm-hmm. You look. Tell them when they can follow you, big dog. Like, At wow. Brandino Catering on Instagram and on Facebook. You look. know the sound of the voices. The great Brandino in the building. Y'all, I'm going wow. I'm gonna like really vouch for him because he got me to eat some salmon and I liked it. I have never tasted a piece of salmon that I liked. What kind of salad ever. dressing is this again? That's a sweet by Dale Young vinaigrette. That shit bang. Oh, that's crazy. I love that. Like I'm really tripping. Like I really can eat some more. Yeah. See, I did salads today. Ain't <laughs> Thank you. You know I love salads. We could have went in, but I, I we did salads. salads today. I really I, I'm glad he did because I was tired. He was like, yo. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> This is really good though. I'm a big salad fan. I I can eat salads all well, day. Well, you you every eating day, the so. best salads in the city, okay. bar none. I mean, <laughs> I'm not even going. If there are any challenges out there, you know the sound of the voice. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> you know who this is. Bring it. Well, thank you so much, brother. Really appreciate I thank it. Thank y'all for having me. It. Always, man. Dinner with the Averys. Yes. Time to let the fun begin with game time with the Averys. Powered by Sirac. 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 Yeah, it's game time, game time. Yay. Can't wait right now. Of course, uh, and today, baby, this is me and you enjoying our beautiful company with each other. Um, We're going to do Would You Rather. Okay. We didn't play this in a second. I like this game. All right. Would you rather swim 30 meters through shit or dead bodies? That's gross. I would rather do neither one. But you have to do one or do no, this shot. No, I have to take a shot. So take this shot then. First off, 
I wouldn't rather swim with neither one because I This can't, is like a life or death situation. I can't swim. Like so Ryan I would, and Easton are stuck <laughs> in a cage on the other side of the I can't fucking, swim. Well, so I walk, would like kind of like float through, <laughs> you know, push your way out of. You know. Yeah, it's not deep. It's like two feet. Are they just dead or like do I see guts They're and dead. all that type of stuff? Vietnam dead. Oh, no, I think I would have to just choose the boo-boo. You go through shit. Yeah, that's what I would you do. You deal with shit I mean, every get day. To my, I do yours all the time. Mine? <laughs> I kick your ass. Uh, that's why you got Eastern doodoo on your nails. Nasty. Your turn, baby. All right. So this, just say you had $19 million, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it costs $18 million to get me. I'm in jail. It costs $18 million for my bond. Or <laughs> your grandmother is 95 and she needs an emergency surgery and her surgery costs $18 million. Which one are you paying for? My grandmama surgery. Really? I'm Your grandmama, you. 95, she done lived a whole life. Listen, though, hold on. I love my name. Listen, and you know surgeries are risky at 95. Most people at 95, when they have a surgery, they don't make it out of that surgery. So, or would you just like, I don't know, that's a hard question. That's fucked up. Like, <laughs> no, nah, I'm getting my grandmama out. You going to get right. your grandmama out and leave me in jail for the rest of my life? Why are you in jail for $18 million? It doesn't matter. So you would leave me in jail for the rest of my life or get your grandmama's the surgery. The rest of your life? Not, yeah, I, it, it's going to be the rest of my life. You or set a bond for $18 million. My bail is $18 million or I have to stay in there the rest of my life. Or you spend $18 million on your grandma. She's 95 and it's a surgery that she needs. Well, you Which, didn't say that the first time. When people have surgery at that age, sometimes they don't make it out of surgery. So... That's, would you? Which one would you rather do? I would have to ask my grandma. I'm going to have to ask my nana on that one. Go ahead, baby. I live my life and you just. <laughs> yeah. Would she be like, no? No. You, help you. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you crazy that was you didn't answer the question so you got yes i shot. did i'll take my <laughs> shot hey killing my grandma <laughs> no nah, i would i would probably have to get my grandma a surgery yeah, i know too. you would but i would feel bad if something happened to her like i wouldn't then go to, would feel I wouldn't like go to the funeral mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? and then you done spent all your money so you can't even give her a proper like funeral <laughs> would you rather be extremely underweight or extremely overweight. <laughs> I would rather be extremely underweight. Really? I like to eat. So then I could just eat and eat and No, eat I don't think it's for that eat. part, Boo Boo. Listen to what? the question. I think it's the appearance of being a really <laughs> fucked up skinny person. <laughs> <laughs> or would you be a really fat ass five hundred pound person? I still that think eat I Popeyes would be, and can't ride it nothing. Maybe I would be the five hundred pound person then. Really? No. No, because Damn. they look like no, I wouldn't. Because they be un, they be like uncomfortable trying to walk and and all type of stuff. They can't. So really would work. you re- answer the question? Would I would you? be the skinny person. What I said originally. Extremely skinny. Like, yeah, I look really sick. Fucked up Anorexic nasty. looking. Damn. Skeletal. Yes, I would right. choose that one. Okay, cool. Okay, would you rather be stuck in a cage with a gorilla or a tiger? Shit, a gorilla. <laughs> I feel like that nigga can understand. <laughs> I tried to sign. You don't talk to him. I just sign like language. <laughs> Cobra, love you. Caesar, here. Caesar, here for you. <laughs> I am not trying to know. Nigga, tigers don't talk to people. They eat motherfuckers. <laughs> shit, I be trying to get that nigga all type of bananas and shit. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Bro, please. Watch out. Because really, fighting a gorilla is like fighting a human. I mean, he's strong as he's shit. He's stronger, stronger than you, though. That nigga's super strong. But I'm shit. I'm going to fight that nigga until that nigga beat my ass. Fuck that. I'm not getting there with no tiger, though. That nigga fucking you up on sight. Would you rather eat shit that tastes like What's chocolate? What's up with you and this boo-boo today? Would you rather eat chocolate that tastes like shit? Or would you rather eat shit that tastes like chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather eat the chocolate that tastes like Boo boo. No. What? Why? No. Why would you do Why? that? Because what? Like, come on now. What? 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 
I can't even get it out. Like you don't even know what's in boo boo that you eating. Like it's but all it, tastes it tastes like, like chocolate. chocolate though. Though. But still, it's boo boo. But it tastes like chocolate. I'm not trying to eat nobody. You know nobody. what chocolate tastes is like? Is it your boo boo? So is it somebody else's boo You read eat shit. Like, that tastes like I mean, eat chocolate. You really it tastes eat. like yes, shit. Yes, because after that, I know it's chocolate though. But it tastes like shit. <laughs> But I know you it's chocolate. You can eat some shit in my man. This tastes like chocolate, though. Uh-huh. I can eat some salmon. Like, what does it taste like chicken? No. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like chicken. I mean, like chicken. to be frank, I would really, I've would. i always wanted to eat a piece of shit. Just what? To, I mean, because I think everybody has never eaten a piece of shit. Easton has. Yeah. He has. Ask that nigga. Ask him what it tastes like. Yeah, it it don't chocolate. taste like chocolate. Because that little nigga eat chocolate, he'd be like, hmm. <laughs> but, yes, uh... I mean, you know, nobody's in the room of eating shit, I'm sure. You hope not. But if you did eat it and you knew it tastes like chocolate, like, you would probably wonder, eat it. I wonder if it tastes like what So you I would eat it. I would like, eat I would eat it? I would eat chocolate that tastes like shit. I would but, eat no, chocolate I would eat flavored shit. That shit. Like chocolate. But like seriously, that's something to think about. Does it taste like what you ate that day? Like you know how if like you eat spicy stuff it burns when it comes out. Mine doesn't, but people say it burns when it comes out. Like so, is your does your boo boo taste like spicy food and something? You know, like does it taste like what you ate? Hell no, I don't know. It don't smell <laughs> like what you ate. <laughs> shit, my shit tastes like Hershey's. You ate shit before, Dylan? No, I don't know because <laughs> I feel like you done did some shit. You went to Hampton, nigga. <laughs> HBCU. Okay, would you rather find your true love or a suitcase with five million dollars inside? I don't want to answer this. <laughs> You just asked to answer it. <laughs> right. Oh, it's, it's to me. Ask Dylan that shit. No, I'm asking you. You tell the truth. Would I rather five, five million dollars? Or your soulmate. I got my soulmate. No, this is if you didn't have your soulmate. Oh, I want the million dollars, the five million dollars. <laughs> I'll find my soulmate after I got the five million dollars. Yeah, They're not going to be with you for the right reasons. Fuck that. I, I, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm gonna get that money. Ooh. Yeah. Would you rather continue with your life or restart it? Ooh. Yeah, that was a deep one. Right in your chest. You know what? I want to restart mine. Damn. No, like I, I'm, I'm happy with my family, my kids, and stuff like that. But I just feel like if I could restart my life, knowing the things I know now, then my life would be totally different. Like what, though? It just would be different with a lot of decisions that I've made. Like, if I can know now what I know and start my life over with the knowledge that I have now, then I would start over. But if, if I'm just starting think, fresh, I don't think anybody no. would do that. Sharon says she wouldn't go back on reality TV. That's what she's saying. I, I mean, I probably still would do that, but I probably would handle it, like, afterwards differently. She did something that she didn't want us to know about. <laughs> <laughs> that she probably didn't want to do. No, I'm just saying, even like managing money differently, all type of stuff. Like oh, if I had yeah. that type of knowledge and I could restart my life that way with still knowing the things I know now, then I would. But if I'm just starting over, just fresh, brand new, no, I wouldn't do it. But I want to keep my kids and my husband. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. But no, I don't. I don't what think I. Do? I don't. I don't think I would restart. You this, would just keep going. This shit's pretty dope. What I'm doing <laughs> right now, so <laughs> I'm agree. good. But I would like to go back and tell myself certain shit. Like, ooh, don't go to that club and fuck with that girl that night. That's or, what I'm saying. Ooh, don't uh, say yes to fucking with that person or, you know, don't do that business deal and shit like that. That's so. what I'm saying, see? But you, I don't want to restart, though, because that shit's Well, fun. you can't do that then. Well, I'm taking my shot then. <laughs> mm. okay. And that is the end of game time. A great time, man. That was good. I, we got to do Would You Rather more often. I like that. That was fun. Yeah, it's fun, right? But cool. you know what? It's less shots being taken when we do that. Exactly, because I'm doing all that shit. <laughs> anyway, let's go to this fan mail one time. Yes, man. Need advice about love, marriage, and relationships? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. We'll send your fan mail. It's time for Ask the Avery. Love fan mail. Shout out to everybody that always go to fan mail. And um, tell us what's going on in their lives and stuff like that. One of our opinions on things. It's very, very, very fun when we get to talk to y'all. Hello, I just need some proposal advice. I want to propose to my boyfriend of three years, but I am clueless on what to do. Mm. Everyone laughs at me when I tell them I want to be the one to do it, but I think it's okay to be different. What do y'all think? Should I wait for him? If not, what should I do or what should I take him to propose? Wait, 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 wait. You done? <laughs> you want to add any more weights to that? I don't think a woman should propose to a man because I just feel like when a man proposes, 
well, this is not really 100% true, but when a man proposes, he's ready to be married. Some of them are. Some of them are not. But if you propose to your boyfriend and he's not ready, like, what if he tells you no and he breaks your heart? Or what if he just says yes just because you asked and he's not really ready to be married? And then y'all get married and he end up cheating and doing something like that. But he, he just said yes because you asked him. Like, I don't know. That's a that's a tough situation. I think that, uh, you know, when a woman asks a man, it's probably it's like a joke. So it's like, oh, you know, it's, no. It's not taken seriously to me personally. You know, if a dude be like, oh, like if Dylan was like, oh, yeah, my girl asked me to marry her, I was like, man, what the fuck? <laughs> and I would laugh. <laughs> but um, like Ebony said, to concur on that, um, yeah, I think, you know, the, you should wait for the man to do it for you because uh, traditional way in the world of them, that's how it's supposed to be did. But the world's not traditional anymore, so. <sighs> yeah, you know. Why shouldn't she do it? I mean, if you think you're going to say yes, then do it. But, I mean, don't do it because you're waiting on him to say it or ask you. Definitely don't do that That, because I don't think that's going to work out for you in the long run. I don't think, I just don't think that she should do it because, like I said, I feel like he may just say yeah just because she asked. Or he might say no because he ain't ready. Ask him in front of his whole family and your family. Put that together and see see how he do it and see what happens. If he say no, then you need to leave that nigga that night. If he say no, just be like, I was just playing anyway. Nah, you weren't just playing. <laughs> I say ask the whole family. You get everybody there. Nah, nigga, there ain't no play play. That shit for real, for real. But, um, yeah, so nah, uh, I would say, sweetheart, just wait for him to uh, ask you. If y'all like a joking couple and shit and y'all play like that and you just going to do it just to do it and y'all know y'all super head over heels in love and you know he's going to say yes, then cool. But don't ask him. Because he ain't asked you yet. Okay? So, that's all I got to say. So, the next one says, Dear the Averys, I love your podcast. I listen faithfully every week. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. (laughs) Thank you very much. (laughs) Okay. So, I'm dating this guy, and I think I met my soulmate. But his daughter is evil. (laughs) She is eight years old, and calling her a brat is an understatement. She does things like put gum in my hair, spill things purposely in my car. Hell, she even cut my dog's hair and told my dad she wanted to give him a makeover. (laughs) My boyfriend says she just needs time to adapt to me, but it's been over a year, and she still does things to get under my skin. The worst thing she did was attend a family Christmas party with me and my boyfriend and told her family members I used to be a stripper. (laughs) What? I love my boyfriend with all my heart, but his daughter is way too much. What do I do? He's talking marriage, but if I marry him, I know his daughter will become my stepdaughter, and and I don't know if I can handle that pressure. First off, she sound like Dennis the Minister. She need her butt whooped. I'm sorry. Like, How old is she? Yeah? <laughs> she eight years old. Look, we need to square up. Like for real, you ain't gonna be putting no gum in my hair and doing all that crazy stuff. And then look, if he do marry you. You heard what you said, right? You'll be stepmama, which means you can whoop her butt. That's what she needs. She need a whooping. She need to know how to respect her elders. Like, this come on now. Do. This is what you do, sweetheart. You take her on a, like a little mani petty day, just you and her, a little spa day, right? You get to know each other better. And then when y'all in the locker room, you know, getting dressed to get ready, go back to whatever y'all doing. In the locker room after getting mani and petty? What kind uh, of locker room? I said spa, like a spa day. You didn't say that, but okay. Oh, you gonna have a spa day. <laughs> and get a manny and petty, you know, and then you fucking when y'all in the locker room, you just fucking like put your fucking elbow on her neck, <laughs> and you just be like, "Yo, bitch, don't you fucking play with me? I love your fucking dad. And if you want this shit to continue, then the shit is gonna be good. I'll take care of you, make sure everything's straight. But if you don't, I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. <laughs> Dang, baby. Tighten up. Eight years old? Nah, you ain't supposed to be doing no shit like that. Gum in but your what hair. What if she go tell? What if she go tell her dad that she just did all that stuff to her? And then her dad gets pissed at her. Mm, well, lie. She lie. She and she doing crazy shit to her. So just lie and say some other shit. You gotta fix that, but that's, that's some bullshit. Good. Badass kid. Whoop her butt. Whoop her ass though. <laughs> With a belt, a real belt. Yeah, beat her ass. She so eight she years old. Not, she only trying you because she knows she can. That's what I'm trying to think. Like eight years old. Was I trying motherfuckers like that? She trying you because she knows she can try you. Like you gotta make sure she know that you ain't the one to play with. Like, you can't do this stuff to me. Your mama pussy ain't good as mine. I'm sorry. I'm here to stay. <laughs> what? I'm just playing. You? Y'all, 
he is lit tonight, and I, I'm apologizing for all this stuff. Don't apologize for me. Can't apologize for me. I'm just playing. No. no. <laughs> Not bad. I wasn't saying that bad, right? No, you, it's no. funny. Last one, baby. Last one. Fan mail. Okay, so this is pretty Fan much mail. a question that I was asked. This, um, and I'm gonna ask you what you think. Mm. Um, are plastic plates disrespectful in a relationship? And should your man make his own plate? Well, seeing how it is you brought plastic plastic plates in my life. Oh, I brought them in your life? I didn't eat off the plastic plates before. You are lying. That is another lie. I never, unless it was a barbecue. or You a get never together. ate pla- off of plastic plates? Unless it was a barbecue or a get-together. Well, look, let me say this. I like, I thought women like to eat off nice, like, Well, before I had two shit. kids that run around and run me crazy. There you go. I was about to get me before that. Before that. Point. <laughs> get my point. Like, I ate off plastic plates. And I know plates. why you eat off the plastic plates now, because... You know, it cuts the, the the cost down of like washing dishes and shit. And I totally understand it because she might be tired after cooking a dope ass meal, and I'd be like, man, damn, I don't want to. I already got to wash all the pots. I and gotta pans. wash all the dishes and the pots and pans. Shit, and I'd be like, damn, I don't want to wash the dishes and pots and pans. You don't wash nothing. What I you mean, I about? do. I try to help. <laughs> you don't wash absolutely nothing. I said I try sometimes. You okay? I forgot anyway. how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> but <laughs> but the plastic plates do come in handy when they're done and you just throw them away. So what was the question? Do you do you think that it's disrespectful? I don't think, no, that's just, no, not at all. Plastic plates are the cornerstone of our culture. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? Awesome situation right there. Really? Plastic plates. One time for plastic plates, y'all. <laughs> One time. <laughs> One time for plastic plates. You are crazy. And plastic silverware. Yes, and plastic cups. You only break your nice shit out when your mama them come over. That's right. When we having a real dinner, that's when we, we do Other all than that, that nigga, plastic plates, plastic silverware, red plates with the fucking- I mean red pl- cups? Red cups, red plates. <laughs> the plastic silverware, nigga. Other than that, that's it, okay? Um, Do you think a man, should a man make his own plate? No. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Because nine, nine times out of ten, you probably pay for the food. What? What That's, does that have to do with anything? If your wife just slaved over the, the, the stove, mm-hmm. she cooked all type of stuff. Yeah. And she's done cooking. She makes your kids a plate. She needs to make your plate, too. Yeah. I'm the man. If she dealing with the kids and stuff, so she needs to make your plate? Well, I mean, the gas wouldn't be on. Now, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, fuck. You right. Make my oh fucking my plate. God. Make my plate. But sometimes I don't make your plate. And this is my reason why I don't make your plate all the time. Yeah, because you a disrespectful woman. <laughs> you your are ass. Dr- <laughs> This is why I don't make your plate all the How time. How the fuck you don't make my Only plate? Only because, you know, sometimes when I make certain foods, sometimes you want a whole bunch of it. Sometimes you just want a little bit. So I prefer you to make your own plate so that way you can make exactly how much you want. And you don't waste nothing, well, you don't throw me, nothing away? Ebony, ask me, do I want a lot or a little? Because sometimes mm-hmm. I want a little or a lot or a medium. And you have exactly. to find Exactly. And if you make your own that. plate, you can fix but, exactly what you want. But you understand, you listen to me, and baby. Then if I'm, you holding want seconds, hand, I'm holding your hand right seconds, now. If you want seconds, I can make your seconds. Listen to me, baby girl. A man wants to feel like a man at all times. So all the ladies out there, if you got a dude right now and you love him and you care about him and you want to make him feel like a man, you know, make his plate for him because that makes us feel like, yes, I did have my job today. I went to work. I came home. I love my girl. I kissed her, and she made me a plate, and, and that's just a part of the whole shit. You know, you know how y'all girls. You know, remember Chantel? What we were talking about today? What you make? What you do <laughs> to make a nigga feel like a man? And you sucking his dick. You like, <laughs> you know. Oh, that's just- what in the world? <laughs> That's what Shantae was talking about. You are out of the order, older chick, The older chick said that. Though. You are out of she order. She was like, what she said, Shantae? She said, that's how you catch. Because now she was like, Shantae was like, how I catch a nigga. Shantae, come on. How you catch a nigga? Oh, this is what you do. Because I was married for 21 years. Yeah, and was I cooked like, him food. Yeah. I cleaned. I made sure everything was taken care of. And I sucked the dick and act like I was choking sometimes. She said she sucked his dick anytime he wanted. Anytime. And she acted like she was choking. Right. No, she was like that. That sounds no. great to a nigga who no, in a relationship that lives with a girl. Saying. She was like, 
Is it? Shantae, you know I know how Shantae is. Yeah. But she was like, oh, you got a gag on it to get it like, <laughs> more wetter. They, they like that shit. It That's makes them feel said. good, I guess. That's huh? what she said. She gave me dick sucking lessons. She, yeah, she gave oh, us dick wow. sucking lessons. She gave <laughs> the interns dick sucking lessons. I never knew this. Because she was married for, she, I mean, frankly, she, she's right. She's been married for 21 years. Right. We all strive to do that. You know, she said she left the nigga because of some other shit. It mm-hmm. wasn't nothing about the marriage part. She said it was just some, some dumb shit. But she was married for 21 years, and she said this is what I did for 21 years to make sure he was happy. Wow. Was she happy, though? Yes. Yeah. Like she she said she was fine. She was fine. He was happy. What about you? Oh, she was, he was happy. Fine. He oh, was okay. happy, too. He, had dope. he was a dope boy. Okay. So cool. suck, suck a little dick Kudos every once in a while, them. y'all. <laughs> Gag on that motherfucker. <laughs> And make a nigga a play. And please, whatever you do, leave a big piece of chicken. Thank y'all so much. We're at dinner with the Averys. We will see y'all for episode 10. I think we're going to do something big for episode 10. I just, yeah, I, I, I don't I know feel... if it was a magic number. I didn't want to be like, you know, cocky about 10, but we made it to 10. 10. That, that's a good accomplishment. I was going to wait to 50, maybe I mean, 100. 50, we'll do something too. No, how about 10, 25, 50? How about we do it like that? Not but 25. 10, not 25? 10, 150. I did it backwards. 10, <laughs> 50, 100. And then five, like those episodes, that's when we're going to turn up and do something. Yeah, big. next episode. But next, I next feel episode, like- episode we're going in. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we should do something really, really Well, thank big. y'all so much. Dinner with the Averys, episode nine right here. You officially uh, rocking with the best. We really appreciate y'all, man. I know we funny as hell here every time I go out. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I am DJ Holiday uh, at DJ Holiday. I am Risky Business at Risky Business 23. And you can follow our Instagram page at Dinner with the Averys. And if you have any questions, any fan mails, any topics, anything, period, you want to mm. talk about on this show. Yeah. Then email us at asktheaveries at gmail, or you can DM us at dinner with the Averys. Exactly. So thank y'all so much. God bless y'all. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, whatever you're doing right now. Okay. Thank y'all for the support. We appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all episode ten. We gone. I love you, oh, baby. Love you too, baby. You. Yeah.